Well, closer to home, Cindy is already prompting voluntary evacuations along the Texas coast. Yeah, so Galveston ISD has canceled summer school classes on Bolivar. Uh, schools on Galveston Island will have class today. Haley Hernandez is live in Galveston for us this morning. Haley, good morning. Uh, have the conditions changed at all since we last talked to you in the past hour? Good morning. Well, you know, since we had now have daylight, you can see the conditions a little bit better. But I just want to tell you first that I am on the Galveston side right here at the ferry and uh, ferry operators are telling me that, you know, it's been traffic as usual, but the there's been no increase in traffic overnight. But this is the big concern if we lost the ferry due to high winds and rain. Now I want to take you back to the sky to look right now where you can see just how bad the winds are getting. Um, it, it, there's definitely a noticeable increase in winds. You can see the choppy waves out there. Uh, we did see the ferry close during Hurricane Ike and although we don't want to say that the weather is going to be that severe without the ferry, elderly and chronically ill could be in trouble. That's exactly why Galveston County Judge Mark Henry has issued a voluntary evacuation for residents on Bolivar Peninsula. Residents who rely on medical assistance or cannot go without power, they are encouraged to leave. If you rely on a medical device or a machine, those will not work if the peninsula loses power. The biggest concern would be that an ambulance could not get to you if the ferry is not working. And the National Weather Service predicts three to six inches of rain in the area combined with four to five foot tides and high winds. Ferry operators say that um, they will be here until the weather forces them to close. One man told me that it would probably take hurricane force winds to stop them. But keep in mind that since it is very windy, it can definitely slow the ferry down. Now, the order for elderly residents and people with medical condition to leave takes effect or the voluntary effect, uh, evacuation takes effect today at noon. It lasts through noon tomorrow. Reporting live in Galveston, I'm Haley Hernandez, KPRC Channel 2 News.